ओके स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द सी सी एस अकेडमी ट्वेल्थ क्लास दिस इज योर फिजिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर इट इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड इट इज योर हैडिंग नंबर फाइव विच इज इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्जेज एंड द इलेक्ट्रिकल फोर्सेज ड्यू टू सिंगल पॉइंट चार्ज एज वेल एज द मल्टीपल चार्जेज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट हेडिंग विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड एज ऑल्सो फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फ्यूचर स्टडी इन फिजिक्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड वाई वी स्टडी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सप्लेन समथिंग विच वॉज मिसिंग इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल फोर्सेज बट द हेल्प ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल फोर्सेज विल बी टेकन हेयर ओके स्टूडेंट्स आई एम टेलिंग यू इन दिस हेडिंग आई विल टेल यू वाई वी स्टडी इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड If you could remember, if you could remember in Coulombian electrical forces, what we did, we considered at least two charges. Okay, two charges was present there, and between them, electrical forces was acting, whose value was calculated by vector as well as by the value. But in this heading, suppose there is only one charge, there is only one charge, and at a particular point, what will be the electrical effect? How it can be measured? because in the coulombian forces we consider two charges here is only one charges so if there is one charges or more than one charges then the concept of electrical field is applied as i told you earlier in so many lectures physics is uh, studied two way first in qualitative way qualitative way i will give you the definition and then in another way i will convert it into the quantitative way in quantitative way we will have the corresponding mathematical formula so first i am telling you why we study electric field electric field is something is electrical effect generated by a single charge or due to the multiple charge in vicinity of it okay so first i am going to read the definition only and then i will explain you the meaning of that definition okay students so fifth heading is electric field qualitatively electric field is at a point is the measurement of electrical effect at point due to charges or the system of charges as i told you there are two things required a charge or the system of charge as well as a point at which that electrical effect you wants to calculate okay now this definition is clear to you electric field at a point is the measurement of electrical effect at a point due to charges or the system of charges now further what i am going to do as i told you earlier first i will tell you the qualitative definition of electric field i told you what is the use of electric field why we study sorry electric field not use only use will come later why we studied electric field and what is the qualitative definition of electric field now i am going to the quantitative part here i will convert this definition of electric field due to a single point charge into its corresponding mathematical formula look here quantitatively this is in figure 5 at point o there is a charge q and p is a point at distance r where test charge q not is placed what is test charge i told you this test charge is to place here to measure the electrical effect suppose i am not going to place this charge then how can i will measure the effect because electrical forces or field only acts on the charged particle not on the neutral particle suppose if i am going to emit it omit it okay then what i will measure at p no so i have to put q not q not in physics is known as test charge what are test charge it is infinitesimally small positive charge infinitesimally small math students know that as small as possible okay just to measure the electrical influence a positive smallest charge is present here without that we can't calculate even force and not even field okay now quantitatively electric field at a point is the force acting per unit positive test charge what it's quantitatively required two thing force acting at that point per unit positive test charge what is test charge i told you at point p where i want to calculate electric field there is a smallest positive charge q not okay this is test charge due to charges or system of charges because i can calculate electric field due to a single charge 
as well as the system of charges so students i am going to tell you one more time this figure 5 at point o the q is present due to which electric field at point p i am going to calculate the distance between the point at which the electric field is to calculate from the charge is smaller as you can see in this figure okay now further students come to the next page in figure 5 i told you what is figure 5 in figure 5 on your next page you see if e vector e for electric field and vector is means electric field is a vector quantity whose direction i will discuss later but i am going to calculate it first value if e vector is the electric field at that point p then e is equal to f by q naught what is f by q naught if i could read it as a statement force acting per unit positive test charge Okay, students, so this is your first equation e is equal to f by q naught. I am enclosing in the bracket. And this mathematical formula you can judge with your qualitative definition as well as with the quantitative definition. Look here. First, I am going to relate with the quantitative definition. Electric field at a point is the force acting per unit positive discharge. Okay, force is present here, students. Look here. Per unit positive test charge divided by q naught okay so you can see this is the mathematical form of this statement this definition of electric field which is qualitative definition as well as you can resemble with this qualitative definition qualitatively electric field is at a point is the measurement of electrical effect at a point due to charges or the system of charges okay students so we got qualitative definition on the basis of this figure and this qualitative definition students i also have the mathematical formula of electric field so what is the mathematical formula of electric field qualitative uh, sorry in not in vector form if he is the electric field at point p then e is equal to f by q naught force acting per unit positive test charge this is your equation number one and in this equation number two you see the vector quantity as i told you earlier electric field is not the scalar quantity it is a vector quantity so this vector e is equal to limit q naught tends to zero you can see this is q naught tends to zero f vector by q okay q naught tends to zero means the charge tends to zero or infinite is really small because test charge would always be as small as possible i told you when i was explaining to this figure okay so now we have equation number two which is the vector value of electric field and now i am going to shift to the what is the si unit of electric field read here the si unit of electric field is newton per coulomb why newton per coulomb you can see force what is the si unit of force as you know from the ninth class it is newton and what is the si unit of q naught that is charge coulomb so the si unit of e is newton per and it is vector quantity as you know as i told you earlier when i was saying e vector is the vector quantity electric field is the vector quantity so its vector quantity its direction the direction of motion of test charge at that point. suppose i'm going to explain it with the help of figure okay suppose at point p this q is positive and q naught is also positive as you know from the ninth class like charges repel each other the where where q naught will shift it will move outward like this it will move outward so direction of electric field at the point p is outward okay suppose suppose this charge would have been negative agree negative hota. if it would have been negative then what will happen definitely negative charge will attract this positive test charge then this direction would be inwards so as i told you the direction of test charge is decides the direction of electric according to the system of charges for which you are going to calculate the electric field so i am going to read one more time the si unit of electric field is newton per coulomb newton per coulomb it is clear to uh, grab students and it's a vector quantity i told you earlier its direction the direction of motion of test charge at that point okay the direction of test charge decides the direction of electric Okay, students, so I am going to brief you about your this fifth very important heading, 
for your examination point of view and also for the study of the future headings electric fields are very important topics and we calculated it for a single point charge okay in the next heading we will calculate electric field due to multiple charges and various other important things okay students keep uh, learning this through my video and keep in touch with the other previous video so the concept would be clear for your board examination now i'm going to finish this video of your heading electric field